Sing harmony with yourself. Learn how to record your voice on your PC and sing along with it. Have you ever been singing a song by yourself and you could just hear the harmonies that were supposed to be there but weren't? Every time I sing Take It Easy by the Eagles, I get to the chorus and just have to imagine that I have Don Henley and Timothy B. Schmidt standing beside me. Without those vocal harmonies, the song just doesn't have the same punch, the same magic. Imagine trying to perform Kansas's Carry On Wayward Son solo. I don't think so. The same holds true for Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. There are certain songs that just cannot or should not be performed without those magical vocals. So what in the world are you to do about it if you're a solo performer? Well, for live performances, you're pretty much stuck with having to get a few other singers for the harmonies. Actually, depending on how technically savvy you are, there are some little machines out there that can split your voice up and play it back as harmonies. But that's another thing for another article. And trust me, it is a huge pain to get decent results. Yes, I've tried it. No, I don't do it anymore. However, you can record yourself singing harmonies with yourself, yourselves, right now if you want to, with tools you probably have around the home. As long as you have a PC with a sound card, an MP3 player, and some sort of microphone, those little $4 PC mics are just fine to start. No, really, I'm serious. If you have the stuff I mentioned, and you want to try this out right now, all you need to do is download the open source audio program called Audacity from their website. The reason I said you need an MP3 player is for the headphones or earbuds, not the player itself. Plug those headphones into the green, typically, hole in your PC's sound card. A hole is a jack if you insist on using the technical terms. You may have to unplug the speakers first, which is fine. Then, plug the microphone into the pink hole. I mean, jack, in the sound card. You just need to set up a couple of things in the software before you start. Open Audacity, and go to Edit, Preferences, to open the Audacity Preferences window. Put a tick in the box next to Play Other Tracks While Recording New One. Then, click OK. Next, go into the Sounds and Devices window from the Control Panel in Windows. The icon looks like a gray speaker. Go to the tab marked Audio, and in the section called Sound Recording, click on the Volume button. That'll bring up the Windows Mixer. Find the channel that says Stereo Mix or Wave Out. Depends on what sound card you have, whether it's going to say one or the other. And put a tick in the Mute box on that channel. Just close the Windows Mixer and you're ready to rock. Record the melody by pressing the button in Audacity with the big red dot on it. An audio track will appear as if by magic and start singing into the microphone. When you're done, click the button in Audacity with the big yellow square, meaning stop. Go back to the start of the song by clicking on the button in Audacity with the double purple arrows pointing to the left. Now you can add harmony by simply pressing the red dot button again and singing along with your recorded voice on the first track. Do this as many times as you want. There's no practical limit in Audacity for a three-part or four-part harmony. Heck, turn yourself into a choir. I once turned myself into an abbey of chanting monks. And that's all there is to it. You just sang harmony with yourself and didn't spend a dime. There are lots of things you can do to improve the sound once you're done, such as reduce the noise, pan the voices left and right, etc. If you're interested in learning about those and tons of other great stuff you can do with that recording studio you didn't know you had, check out our tutorials at the Homebrew Audio website. The first several video tutorials are free, and the subsequent lessons are only $7 a piece. Other lessons will show you how to create a voiceover with music behind it, how to create loops, how to edit audio, do multi-track recording, etc. The tutorial covering the stuff we did in the article is also there, in case you're wondering. So come on by and visit us at Homebrew Audio. See you there!